this situation the pump will run and the water will filter but it won't kick on the salt water so eventually this water here will turn green and nasty and there won't be any way to clean it up until I fix that or buy a whole new one and then of course you buy a whole new one and I almost guarantee you that they will have changed the fittings again because I think this is my third or fourth one and they always change something they change the routing or whatever so you can't just unscrew that and plug in the new one it's always cutting PVC and rerouting things and and you just get more Franken PVC than what I already have. All right, you know me, I'm gonna always show you the real fixes. Let's see, we run them turn perfectly. And Google was no help, of course. Every solution posted on Google assumes that you're a complete idiot who doesn't know anything about anything. And <laughs> it's very frustrating. So when you Google, you know, error code 90, false error code 90, false low flow, whatever, it always comes up with the same stuff that you've put in the sensor backwards so that it's not sensing the water flowing. It's, and that's probably true of the old style ones that had a little flap that came up when the water would flow. And if you put it in backwards, obviously it wouldn't move. So, you would think there was no water flow but these are electronic and so they just they sense the water differently well I kept messing with this one because you know that's the water flow sensor and nothing was working on it so I finally pulled this one and when I unthreaded this part here and disconnected this there was actually a little teeny teeny bit of corrosion on two of the connectors and I assume that's probably because this is a saltwater system and salt and water and metal do not mix well. <laughs> so here's the solution. Dialectic tune-up grease like you use in your car and your spark plugs and so forth. Just cleaned off the corrosion. You can do that with a metal brush, a rag with some vinegar on it, whatever suits you. And it will take that corrosion off. And then I just gob this on all of the connectors and around where it's going to seal. Plugged it back in and boom, rock and or roll. We are purring like a kitten here. So that's the fix for your phony low flow 90. Obviously that's not the fix if you actually have low flow. It's not the fix if you put in your sensor backwards it's not the fix if you have air in the system instead of water but all of those things seem pretty simple dummy problems and not what you're looking for if you're googling so if you have air in the system you can just barely loosen these and until water starts coming out or you can tip it some people are saying tip it to get the air out but I find just slightly unthread those until the air comes out but mine was not an air problem mine was a corrosion problem and very likely if you have salt water you're gonna have corrosion at some point so get you some of this put it on all your connectors and you know what because somebody's gonna say well you didn't show how it was done let me actually show you what I did I'm gonna have to turn this off First of all, I kill it there so there's no power anywhere. I don't think these are electrified to shock you or whatever, but just in case. So I'm just gonna unthread this part. And I'm just gonna pull this out. And you can see that silicone grease there, dialectic tune-up grease, and you can see the two posts here that have just a teensy bit of corrosion on them. So clean those off. I mean, they actually they looked kind of rusty before. Now they're just sort of orangish. And that was the fix. 
So even though it was saying low flow, it was actually on the chlorinator part, not on the flow part. Although I went ahead and did the same thing on this one. Again, you just unscrew, pull that apart, clean it up, grease it, put it back together.